Good morning ladies and gentlemen And all media friends, selamat pagi Pagi Wah suaranya masih setengah disimpan nampaknya nih Senang sekali nih buat teman-teman media kita bisa berjumpa kembali And welcome di Borum Delangham Hotel Jakarta Tentunya dalam special event yang hari kau Intel And welcome to Intel Eco and Intel Corp 12 Gen Media Lounge Boleh saya minta tepuk tangan yang paling meriah ya? Untuk kita buat teman-teman media yang sudah hadir Wow It's so so wonderful bisa ketemu dengan teman-teman media lagi setelah 2 tahun mungkin ya Kita sudah uh, banyak virtual kemudian juga ketemunya dari layar ke layar Tapi hari ini kita bisa bertatap muka langsung dengan teman-teman media di mana hari ini kami ingin mengajak rekan kami media untuk bisa mendapatkan sebuah keunggulan-keunggulan dan informasi menarik mengenai Intel Evo dan juga Intel Core 12 Gen. Dan spesial lagi, rekan-rekan media kami ajak untuk bisa mengetahui ini eksklusif sekali, eksklusif sekali. Karena nanti malam kita akan menghadirkan juga kepada para partners, kemudian juga rekan-rekan dari Intel untuk bisa mengetahui. Namun yang pertama tetap rekan-rekan media yang sudah hadir hari ini. Di mana rekan-rekan media hari ini bersama dengan saya, Jessica William, yang akan menemani rekan-rekan media untuk bersama-sama menyaksikan peluncuran dari 12 Gen Intel Core Mobile Processor yang telah mendukung lebih dari 30 laptop keluaran terbaru dari berbagai brand ternama. Mungkin tadi rekan-rekan media pasti sudah sempat ya menuju ke experience area, sudah melihat-lihat, sudah mengunjungi untuk semua laptop yang sudah menggunakan Intel Evo dan juga Intel 12 Gen. Nanti hari ini kita juga akan ajak dengan tamu spesial yang akan live demokan bagaimana keunggulan dari prosesor Intel ini. So, Intel pastinya dengan bangga meluncurkan prosesor terbarunya teman-teman media yaitu 12 Gen Intel Core Processor yang didukung oleh para partners dari berbagai brand laptop mulai dari bentuk ultra thin atau ultra tipis dan juga desain yang rapi namun tetap memberikan kinerja maksimal dan teknologi yang mutakhir. Boleh dong kasih tepuk tangan yang lagi untuk hal yang begitu luar biasa dari kita Wajah dan kita Ibu ini Rasanya teman-teman media sudah tidak sabar So let's start our event today And now please join with me to invite Mr. Sinkia Danielson as an Asia Consumer Sales Director To come up on stage and also deliver the update about the new product of Intel Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome This is Mr. Sinkia Danielson Wi-Fi technology was brought to life by Centrino Technology 
many years ago. Intel has had a profound impact on everything that we do every single day. Now, a lot has changed over the last two years. Uh, we, we, stopped, we stopped gathering. We had to stay socially distant. Uh, we suddenly appeared on Zoom meetings and Teams meetings. We no longer met in person. We sat at our homes. Many of us sat at our homes and did our work from our homes for a long period of time. Now, during the pandemic, Intel went through a pretty significant change ourselves. Okay? Um, in the heart of the pandemic, we introduced to the world a new CEO to run our company. And uh, our CEO's name is Pat Gelsinger. And if you follow the IT industry news, which I'm sure you all do, you will, you will know that Pat Gelsinger has had a profound impact on the transformation of our company, but not just what's going on in our company, what's going on around the world as it relates to semiconductors. How many of you have heard about the semiconductor shortage that is going on across the world? Okay. Intel is one of the, uh, I would say, fortunate companies where the pandemic has had a pretty significant impact on our business. We've seen uh, PC demand skyrocketing. We've seen demand for many other types of semi semiconductors exploding, exploding right in front of us, okay? And so Pat Gelsinger came into a company where the company was, when the company was going through significant change and dealing with significant challenges to meet the needs and the demands for semiconductors across the world. Now, we've made some pretty significant bets on the future of semiconductor technology. In the last year, our CEO has made huge investments to expand the capacity of Intel manufacturing to meet the needs of the semiconductor demand in the future. We've invested over $20 billion in two new fabrication plants in the state of Arizona in the United States. We've announced the first new semiconductor manufacturing site for Intel in the last 40 years in the state of Ohio. Another $20 billion investment. Here in Asia, just as important, we've announced a $7 billion expansion in our factories in Malaysia, and a $475 million expansion to our factories in Vietnam. All told, about $80 billion of committed investment to help solve the challenges that the entire world is facing as related to semiconductors. Now think of your own lives. Think of your own lives. What about your life today is less digital than it was before the pandemic started. We're on PCs more, we're on phones more, we're watching YouTube more, we're on Zoom calls more. We're ordering more food with technology. We are on social media more than probably we ever have been in the past. Our lives are increasingly becoming more digital. When I walked into the airport yesterday, the first thing that I had to do was pull out my phone and scan a QR code. That QR code app, uh, I, can't I can't remember the name of the app, it's like Perlingdu or something. I can't remember the name of your app, but I apologize for that. But that app was connected to a server that had information about me. So I used technology to get into your country and I had to load up my vaccination statistics into that app before I left my country, Singapore. So technology has had a profound impact on every single individual just in the last two years, okay? And we, we are making significant investments to ensure that we're keeping pace and investing for the future to help solve challenging problems that the world is facing. Another key change that we're seeing happen that, that's evolving in the middle of the pandemic, the automobile industry is electrifying. We all know about Tesla, but it's not just Tesla anymore. Every single major automobile manufacturer 
is investing in the electrification of vehicles. And that is what? An, an electrified vehicle is what? It is, it is essentially a computer on wheels. And a computer on wheels needs many, many, many semiconductors in order to be functional. That's having a profound impact on semiconductor technology. Okay, so the, the things that, some of the things that you saw on the last oil were world-changing advances that were enabled or uh, activated or delivered to you by Intel. Intel put the silicon in Silicon Valley. For more than 50 years, Intel and our people have had a profound influence on the world, driving business and society forward, creating radical innovation that revolutionizes the way that we live. Today, we are applying our reach, scale, and resources to enable our customers to capitalize more fully on the power of digital technology. Inspired by Moore's Law, we continuously work to advance the design and manufacturing of semiconductors to help address our customers' greatest challenges. Now, many of you think of Intel as just that company that puts the logo on your computer that says Intel inside. You think of us as a microprocessor company for PCs. And frankly, that's why we're here today, to launch the latest generation of our product. But our silicon goes into many, many more things than just PCs. We have IoT solutions that form the building blocks for solutions that customers, our partners, bring to market to enable things like smart factories, intelligent transportation systems that solve transportation problems around the world, Healthcare technology, intelligent healthcare technology that improves the lives of people suffering in hospitals and brings them back to their feet. These world-changing, these world-changing technologies are profound and meaningful, and Intel is the, at, at the heart of so many of them. So this is what makes Intel unique. As you see on the slide behind me, the advantage that Intel brings to the industry is not just that we are the leading provider of silicon for the entire world. Because what is silicon alone? Silicon alone is just sand. Silicon comes from sand. But when you combine software and that silicon, which becomes a semiconductor and forms a platform, and it's brought to life with unique packaging and process technology through our manufacturing processes. This is the unique value that Intel has and brings to life. Intel is the only company with the depth and breadth of software, silicon, and platforms, and packaging and process with at-scale manufacturing that our customers can depend on for the next generation of products that they're trying to bring to life. Okay, now, I've talked a little bit about who we are and what we're trying to do. Let's talk about the market, and let's talk a little bit about what's going on here in Indonesia. So if you look at this slide here behind me, this is a, a slide that was, um, that was given, the, the source of this data is IDC. And IDC is pretty particular about what they can set, that, what we can share publicly, because this is data that they sell, okay? What, what this foil shows you is the progress of the PC shipments across the world over the last few years and a forecast for 2022 and 2023. Now, you look at this slide and say, okay, this looks a little boring. What, what's so exciting about this slide? The, the excitement about this slide is everything that happens before 2020. If you looked at if you looked at the bar chart for the previous several years, you would see the PC industry in decline. And then you would see a huge jump in 2021, in 2020, another huge jump in 2021, and then some stabilization that is happening in 2022 and beyond. The pandemic has changed, as I said before, 
all of our lives. You know, work from home, learn from home, gain from home. It's, it's, uh, it's really had a profound impact on what we do every single day of our lives, okay? And what we see happening in Indonesia is that PC penetration has gone up. 40% uh, PC penetration in Indonesia. The ASP, or the, the uh, premiumization of compute, has been on the rise in Indonesia. We at Intel used to look at Indonesia as a low-end compute market. That's changing. 43% of the devices sold in Indonesia now are premium devices. That number's gone up significantly year after year after year over the four, last four years. It's a huge increase. And the behaviors that we've been seeing happening are not changing, they're not going away. Sure, uh, as we were just chatting on the table before, people are spending less money on compute now because they can suddenly go to Bali or they can go to Singapore or they can go to to Bangkok, they can spend their money on other things that they weren't able to spend their money on before. But the behaviors that we created during the pandemic aren't going away, and the install base has risen to, to, a, to a level that we will now refresh upon as we go forward. Okay, so now let's take, so let, let's take a look at some data that's unique to Indonesia. Let's look at what happened during the pandemic in your market. Now, oops. This is a study that Intel does every single year. And for the last three years, we've done this study in Indonesia. This is our, um, this is where we talk to active PC buyers and discover what's going on with their lives around compute. And what you can see on this foil is that the frequency of PC usage from 2019 to 2021 has gone up significantly, right? 43% of consumers are using PCs every day. That came from 20, it basically doubled in the last three years, okay? So the frequency of PC usage on a daily basis has gone up significantly. And if you look at the stack of this chart, over 80% of people in Indonesia are using PCs at least four to six times per week. That's a significant change. The average number of daily activities has gone up as well. There used to be a, approximately seven things that people were doing with their PCs on a daily basis, and that number has gone up significantly to 10. And then when we ask, uh, when we ask consumers in Indonesia, what is the likelihood or what's the time frame that they would expect to refresh their PC to buy a new device? And if you, if you followed Intel for a while, you know that one of the things that we were always focused on was getting people to refresh their device, to upgrade their technology. And that number, that the time frame for refresh was going up. During the pandemic, it's gone down. So it, we were approaching seven year refresh rate and that number has come down to about four to four and a half right now, okay? So the PC has become an important part of each individual's digital life. Okay, so that's a little background to get us started. Now let's get to why we're here today. All right, today we're here to, in, to introduce our expanded, brand new, 12th generation Intel Core microprocessor family. Now, this is a single hybrid architecture. The biggest shift in x86 architecture in the last decade We've introduced performance cores and efficiency cores, and we're gonna, you're gonna hear a lot more about that over the next 30 minutes or so. But it's really exciting, and it's had a profound impact on the performance that we're delivering to consumers, both in gaming as well as in traditional mobile compute. You're gonna hear all about those details over the next minutes from our wonderful product experts who are gonna come up here on stage. But before I invite them up onto the stage, what I'd like to do, Roll a video. Thank you so much. We're excited to launch our 12th gen Intel Core family of desktop processors. It's more than the theme processor, it delivers the best overclocking experience. 12,600.
623 marks. Any constructive weld right there? Our 12th Gen H-Series delivers up to 40% higher performance than our prior generation.